Hey, it's Joel. I'm not in my studio. I'm with Sarah Dietschy. What's up, guys? My name is Sarah Dietschy, runs with Peachy. I am here at Apple Park. Hey, Mark, how are you? Thanks for having me. It's me, Rhymes with Peachy. Rhymes with Peachy. I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> We're down with Sarah because she is going to have in her possession a Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. This is my first 3D printer ever. Ever. So I've been on the tech scene for a while. I have seen my friends 3D print things. I have never myself 3D printed anything. Until today. Until today. Until today. So I'm excited, but honestly, I'm a little nervous because I don't know what the learning curve is. It's but not, that's why you're here. It's not bad, and I'm yeah. here. First thing though, we do have to get out of the box. Yep. And one of the, the, the hallmarks of getting your first 3D printer is the joy in unboxing. And mm. so I will give you that. I will do the honors then. Bring okay. it right across. It's very heavy. Don't hold back. You're technically not supposed to cut towards yourself, I think. Technically speaking, yeah. No. Do it. Okay. Look at that. Oh. Well, you now have a 3D printer. Okay, this has been fun. Thanks, everybody. Yes, yes. Oh my god, can I 3D print things for my cat? I'm already thinking, yes. what should I 3D print for my cat? You absolutely can. A little hat? Sure. But I mean, before you do that, we do have to actually get it untaped right. and out of the box. Right. Nice. Go. Sweet. How did someone invent these things? 3D printers in general. So the, the reason that you and I and others have these is because Dr. Adrian Boyer, long ago, once a patent expired, created the first consumer DIY 3D printer. Hmm. And it was a machine that could print the parts to make another machine. There's a, there's a really famous picture of him and another student, and it says parent. And then this one is child because the parent printed all the parts for the child. That's very meta. It is really meta, isn't yeah, it? That's yeah, it's crazy. The, the history of this is pretty rock and roll. There we go. Sweet. And you got it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well done. This is the print head itself. That's a fun noise. It won't make that noise in the very future. Cool. This cable chain is taking the electronics and this is called a PTFE tube okay. and it brings the filament. You just kind of want to make sure that everything looks proper here. At this point, we need to put the screen on. Yep. It's going to plug into that connector right there. Okay. okay. I love it. Okay. Uh, power sorry. button in the back, would you like me to hit it? Yes. Okay. And oh, Moment sorry. of truth. Yeah, it's okay. Hand. It's oh, okay. Oh my goodness. We might have to fight, but it's okay. Jeez. Oh, I'm for real. One. Bamboo Lab, you got a logo, so Exciting. you know that's hooked up correctly. Yes. Sarah, we got it put together. Yep. Good job on that. Like your first All me. 3D printer. You you did a lot. You did a lot. It's it's a lot to get one of these together if you're <laughs> I not mean, expecting it. Yeah, but now it's great. Packaged well, yep. put together, things are blinking, screen is on. We've actually done the firmware update, and yep. now I have an idea for a print. Okay. Because I know you're into organization of things. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of camera gear and stuff like I have. So the filament I've chosen is this. It's mm -hmm. called the PETG, mm -hmm. and Sarah Dietschy rhymes with peachy. I Here thought this go. might be appropriate. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It shimmers. It does shimmer. It's like a shimmery peach. I mean, this is gorgeous. Okay, so. I'm glad you like it. So it's a PETG. I... Okay. PET material, lots of time makes like soda bottles, water bottles. Okay. And so uh, with PET, they add the G, which I believe is glycol, to make it easier to print. Okay. So for you, you're going to load it into slot one of okay. this AMS. Filament itself, it's like weed, weed trimmer line. Okay. Uh, and right now, it's through these holes. So you're going to take it out of here. Mm -hmm. And then after you set it right here, mm -hmm. you're going to put it through that hole. Okay. Until it takes it. All right. Here we go. Here, I'm going to give you my phone. All right. And you can, sure. Here, we'll switch places. Here. I can be a camera person. Yeah. Let's do a little close up. I can do this. The goal is to not let it unspool. Yeah. On you. Okay. So you drop it in onto the roller. And then I feed it. And you feed it in until it takes it. Yep. Okay. I feel like I'm not doing this right. If you, uh, so, it, there here, you go. Here we go. I brute force it. it. Ah! See? This is crazy. I can't believe I'm gonna have this like in my house. <laughs> like when when people come over, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, come check out my printer." <laughs> this That's is it. exciting. Go ahead and close the lid. All right. Just like that. And these tabs, uh, they can fold over if you want. Oh, like this. Okay. Just locks it into place. Okay. And then hopefully, if the RFID worked, you mm -hmm. should see it on the screen. So there's gonna be two little sliders there on the left side above the envelope. And there we go. Oh, it yeah. found your pet G and it's ready to rock. Okay, now I know you're into organization yes. and camera gear and stuff and mm -hmm. I have a really cool idea of our 
first print that you could do on here. Which I have no idea what this is. This is so exciting. So I'm very excited. So I've got it set up here. Okay. We're going to get that printed, and then you will, for the first time, just like the audience, see yeah. this really cool organizational print. Okay. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. Okay, the prints are done in this incredibly peachy PETG. Okay, it's there's a couple parts here. First, I'm going to show you this okay. one. Okay, interesting. Okay, and looks then, like a screw of some sort. Yep, yep, yep. And then I'm going to show you this oh, one. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, okay. I don't know what's happening yet, but this is interesting. It looks beautiful. It I does. mean, like like the shimmeriness of it is inspiring. Have you ever held a 3D print before? Maybe. Maybe. I, I don't know. I, I literally don't know. This could be the first. This could be the first. Ooh. Well, then there's one more piece, and it is this. Now that is cool. Okay, I think I understand what's happening here. Do you think you oh could assemble my gosh. it? I am I think so. Okay, yep. And then you just screw that, you right? Put that in, that's right. Oh. <laughs> Does it spin? So what you have in your hand is an SD card merry-go-round. Wow. Do you have a few SD cards? Oh to yes, kind of I see do. What, yeah. Yes, if you go I grab do. a few SD cards, I think you'll get the idea of what's happening. SD cards. <laughs> I kind of knew you would have a few. <laughs> so go ahead and load them up. Oh, this is awesome. Not that way. Oh, the other way. Whoops. Just because you'll, yeah, you'll see. Sense. You'll that see. So sense. load them. Just kind of load them in. Okay. Oh, I think I know what's going to happen. Do you? Okay. They're going to like pop up. They should indeed pop up. Oh my God. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Well, it's kind of neat being 3D printed. We were able to make a new bottom piece with a more gradual mm, ramp. Okay, well, let's try that. You want to try it out? Yeah. Uh, you're going to have to load them again, I go. guess. There we go. Okay. So take a look at the differences here. Yeah. So see, it's just, it's a different ramp mm -hmm. up to it. More gradual. So did you customize that or was there just another? That was customized on the model page. And Man, so this how, is do, how do people think of this? This is actually kind of crazy. It's really cool. People are creative. Okay. So now it should have a more gradual ramp and Yeah. There you oh, go. look at that. Oh yeah, I like that better. That it's is nice. so cool. Let's just drop out of the way. Look and at that. And it's going to it's going to look so much cooler on my desk. This than just a bunch of SD cards everywhere. As someone who creates content, you have to be able to organize your stuff, but you want it to look really good exactly. in case you have to film it. Exactly. Exactly. I and mean, this is so cool. And now that can be on your desk, mm -hmm. on your bench, in your background, just ready for you to film. I love it. So see, in my head, I'm already being like, huh, I wonder if I could modify this, though, to make them even taller. You absolutely could. I think that that I don't see myself like designing my own stuff, but I imagine like, are you this might be taboo in this space. Can you take other people's files and like tweak them? Mm -hmm. Is that OK to do? So models are usually released with a license okay. associated with them. And so they will say remixing allowed, remixing being taking okay. it and changing it. Okay. Or the license will say uh, this is not for commercial purposes or right. it'll be open source. It'll say you can do anything you okay. want with this. What's I mean, really great, wherever you sense. find one of these, there's an author attached to it, mm -hmm. and you can always send that author a message, mm -hmm. no matter the platform, and ask them questions. Yeah, that's awesome. So are you satisfied with your first print? Oh, I love it. And I'm also thinking, I'm like, you know, it would be another cool thing to print is like a cap. Mm -hmm. So you could just travel with it. So you just, boop, put a cap on, throw it in your bag, and boom. That's a good way to do it. Maybe that's the first 3D print you design. Oh, over on my video on youtube.com slash Saradici. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. This is actually a really good spot for us to wrap it up because okay. we've got the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon out of the box. Mm -hmm. It's printing and it made a wonderful organizational tool yep. contextually relevant to your interests. You're so good at talking. I don't know about that. <laughs> but what I do know is if you made it this far, you are awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in and peachy all the things. That's a good one. And right? subscribe to Joel. And subscribe to Sarah. Have you hit that subscribe button down below and like this video? Such a YouTuber. And hit his affiliate links down in his description. <laughs> At the end, I do offer my audience a high five. Would you like to as well? Nailed it. I didn't even look. <laughs>